gonna look up um, how we gonna set up uh, a CRA system so um, these are things that we require so that's what you're seeing at this moment uh, there's a few things a few few more things to come ahead so first I'll explain uh, we, we need um, what is that the CO2 tubing that's right there uh, make sure you don't buy the normal airline tubing uh, there's a separate tubing for CO2 so it's much stiffer harder in a sense um, so um, you will feel it there's a big difference between the airline tubing and the CO2 tubing CO2 tubing is really hard um, a hard tubing but at the same time you know the airline you know you'll find it very flexible it's like the silicone one so yeah make sure you buy the correct CO2 tubing because um, you're gonna lose all your CO2 uh, in the way when it, by the time it comes into your tank most of the CO2 is gonna escape through the tube because it's got small holes uh, on the uh, silicone tubing the airline tubing uh, the normal ones that you use for the uh, air pump so yeah be careful about that um so the next thing we need is a ceramic uh, glass diffuser um uh, with the glass diffuser make sure you uh, just buy the right size for your tank and uh, not the small one you know they're small medium large and all the stuff uh, so just to try try to choose the one that is most suitable for your tank uh, how the bigger your tank the bigger try to buy a bigger diffuser um make sure you try to buy the glass ones then were the ones that have no fitting at all like it's totally glass um certain certain glass ones have a uh, um have fittings like you can you can um, unscrew screw in and all stuff but uh it's better not to buy those because um uh, uh it's it's more volatile in the sense you know it, it tends to break and you know uh, co2 escapes through that sometimes you get really big bubbles out of it and all those stuff so it's better to buy the one it's full in fully uh, it's uh, completely in glass um and the middle in ceramic um so yeah so that one there uh the other one is the um the gooseneck tube that comes you know that is used for the uh where the airline comes into the tank you know to make sure it's nice but it's really optional uh, unless you really want it to but i've got it for mine um then you might need the bubble counter um i've got a glass bubble counter so uh it's very reliable at the same time you know uh, very fragile too so make sure you choose the right bubble counter that you need um it's an optional thing but it's better to include the uh, bubble counter it's mainly because uh, you you can limit and uh, limit the amount of CO2 and also understand or realize how much CO2 is going into your tank. So with that way you can limit the amount through the number of bubbles you can you know it comes into your tank. So that's a good thing um, to measure your CO2. The other thing, yep, yeah, that's an also uh, that's a uh, it's a U uh, U shaped tube. Uh, it's also optional, but um, unless you really need it. Uh, then you need some suction cups um, and then finally uh, you need a check valve try to buy don't buy the plastic ones that you can find in uh, eBay those cheap ones you know uh, um, the maximum it'll last is like three months with the, you know those membranes like they uh, don't tend to last long so eventually you'll have water going through into your uh, into your regulator and then spoiling the whole thing so it's better to invest a few more dollars and buy the glass uh, glass or more reliable um, check valve um, I, I buy glass uh, the glass is really good uh, this one which I bought here is also uh, it was a bit expensive like 15 10 or 15 dollars or something but yeah it's very reliable unless it breaks you know you, you break it uh, then that's very reliable so the next thing you need is uh, the CO2 regulator so I've got a dual gauge uh, CO2 regulator with solenoid um, so the reason I have with the solenoid is because I can um, 
I can control the CO2 when I want the CO2 to switch on and off you know uh, if you don't have that Serena you'll have to keep on manually doing on and off all the time but what I now I can do is I can just put it into a timer set it up for the whole week you know and then you know it keeps on going at the same time when my light switch on so yeah that's very convenient so make sure you get it with the solenoid and then uh, with the gauges you know you got one this one here on the top is the output pressure output pressure in the sense it'll um, what do you say that's the pressure of the co2 coming out into your tank into your aquarium so the co2 coming in the pressure of the co2 coming into aquarium and the other one is the cylinders pressure so how much uh, uh, from from the from the amount of pressure you can know whether your same cylinder is full halfway or empty you know it's just to um, so identify when you need a refill for your cylinder so it's better to buy one with dual gauge but um, it's not really necessary you know you will eventually know when it's run out but sometimes it's better to know earlier so that you can um, have a um, you can get it done uh, get your refill quick as possible or as you might not notice uh, that your CO2 is finished right so so that's the um, CO2 regulator and then the main thing that we need is the CO2 cylinder when it comes to CO2 cylinder make sure you buy the CO2 cylinder that can fit your uh, regulator different countries have different standards and they have you know different kind of cylinders you know those thread types and um, and all those stuff so make sure you take your cylinder or take your regulator to the place where you buy it and then um, check it out and then buy um, the CO2, uh, CO2 um, the cylinder um, with mine I've got a 600 liter tank and I'm using a 2.5 kg cylinder so it'll, it'll last me about six to eight months six months probably so and the refill is about twenty dollars so that's that's very cheap compared to the you know liquid uh, co2 you're putting into your tank so um, yeah um, so those are the main things that you uh, need and then this is the other very important thing that you need to know when you set up your the bubble counter and your check valve make sure you uh, put it into cardboard or something like that or even try to um, stick it into the wall of, of your cabinet or something like that and it's it's upwards it faces upwards so um, what I what I have done is just put it into a piece of uh, stick it into cardboard and then um, yeah basically uh, put more cellar tapes onto the uh, uh, cabinet to the side of it and then uh, uh, glued in there so uh, I'll show you my setup so this these are things that we need I've already set it up into my tank so we will now go have a look at my tank and see how it's set up All right hold on a bit guys alright guys so here we are the tank um, uh, we're here near my CO2 setup so i've taken the cylinder out for you guys so so the cylinder is all set up and the wiring and everything the tubing what i'll do is i'll just give you a quick explanation how i've set it up so I'll see for you guys so with the regulator i said you guys earlier uh so you got two here the one on the top that's the that so you can see the pressure it says the co2 pressure on that i don't know how clear is it for you yep it's clear enough so now it's, yep so it's about 50 it says 50 basically that's the pressure of the CO2 that's going into um, the aquarium and this one here is the pressure of the cylinder so when I started my my setup this the point the needle was somewhere near to the thousand mark now it's a bit below I think it's a uh, yeah it's about a month and a half now so 
so I think the pressure is going down because uh, because uh, a lot of CEOs is being used so um, yeah so those are the two things that I've already explained to you guys uh, and then going bottom um, so on the top here this is where the, you fit the CO2 tubing and then this one here is the one that regulates uh, you can uh, like it acts like the kind of needle valve I think it's the needle valve so you can um, uh, you can turn it either way and um, control the amount of CO2 that goes into your tank I'll do you I'll do a small sample for you guys to see then uh, in a bit um, so yeah so that's how it goes I've got a small standard one but a much more the reliable ones on the top so the tubing comes all the way through this like like this and then you actually don't need this um, check valve but uh, just put it as an extra um, uh, security measure but, and then it goes all the way into the bubble counter see now that shows you can see the amount of uh, the number of bubbles that goes up so it's about one two two bubbles per second at this moment so that's i think that's quite that's enough uh, for my tank um if i feel that it's not enough i might you know increase it later on so, so to get the uh, bubble count what you need to do is before you set up you need to pour a little bit of water into the bubble counter uh somewhere up to the top there so you can see the whole thing is you know the bubbles that's adding up there so that's there that's the limb that's until we have uh, filled up water so what happens when the bubble goes through the water you, you can see the uh, co2 goes through the water you can see the bubble accumulating there on the top and then it goes all the way up there uh, through the tube and you got the check valve right here i don't know how clear it is for you guys but um Sorry, um, I just had to take my phone for you guys to um, give a bit of uh, better um, lighting in, inside my cabinet. Um, so yeah, so now you can see well, you know, that's the that's number of bubbles that goes through the bubble counter. Now it's like two bubbles per second. It goes all, the CO2 goes all the way up through the check well. And that's my check well. And goes through the tubing happens is go through all the way to the tubing and uh, I've set up my diffuser in the opposite corner of the up here, on the opposite corner of the tank the main reason because I've set up uh, the CO2 in the opposite corner of the tank uh, for my filter is because the you know the the water circulation you know the water comes through the top through the uh, uh, over there so water comes all the way from the top and comes all the way down and the water goes back again into the filter through that so it's a circle comes to the top and the water is dragged back into the filter back again so what I've done is you know so instead in that way I don't waste a lot of CO2 it goes uh, uh, the water actually drags all the CO2 towards uh, until the end of the tank so I use the maximum uh, amount of CO2 and it can reach all my plants so you can see the minute bubbles if it's clear enough um, yeah on the tank so that's the CO2 so that's that's about it guys about the CO2 setup it's uh, it's not a really big deal though um, um yeah so thanks a lot for watching uh, my video and if you guys have any questions or any comments please do uh, put it down uh, and uh, um yeah thanks again for watching have a great day bye bye and yep don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, yep have a nice day mate. bye bye